Hello, Scorpio. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Art Nouveau Tarot by Matt Myers. Matt Myers. There we go. Supportive Oracle Cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. That's interesting. We, like, I already got, like, a surge of, like, okay, here we go. So, <laughs> what are we getting into, Scorpio? What are we getting into? I mean, not that you're going to be worried about any of it anyway. Not for nothing. Usually the Scorpios I know, they're like, oh, is something happening? I'll handle that. <laughs> like, they seem to be quite strong. So, I don't know. Nothing, it's not really that bad, but there's something here. Giving yourself a break or giving somebody else a break? It's either giving yourself or somebody else a break. It might be yourself. So, I don't know, let's, let's get into it and find out. Um, I'm getting the mask feel here with the will. <sighs> Allowing yourself to feel through something. For some of you, this might be a person in your life that you want to see better than they actually are. And this is kind of allowing you, you're allowing yourself to see them for who they are. For others of you, maybe it's somebody who you're like, I don't really like them. <laughs> but they really don't do anything that bad. Maybe I should give them a chance. Is that right? Or Because something, there's something happening in the environment. It's kind of changing your mind about something. Somebody's doing something that's good. For somebody else, it's almost like somebody doing something for like a parent or a sibling or maybe your child or a good friend of yours. Like somebody's getting help, right? They're getting help that they actually need. And it's from somebody that you're like, I don't even like that person, but they're actually doing something very good. And it, they're helping out somebody I care about. Somebody significant to you. Because this isn't coming like just on a whim, just like I'm bored. Maybe I'll give somebody I don't like a chance. It's not happening like that. Somebody that you really, I feel like you really don't care for this person, but they're doing something good and it's making a positive impact. And you're like, you know what? They did something good. That did, that was a good thing. Um, and the Ace of Swords is like, there's a lot of information out there about what happened and why. Um, like the Ace of Swords is like somebody taking the initiative too. This person took the initiative to make that happen. So it's like, okay, that's good. All right. That's how it's starting. You do like what's happening here, but I also see you kind of like, you got the page of pentacles, page of coins, page of earth, however you want to look at it. It's all the same feel. Coming in with the sun, kind of like, this is going well. I'll help, but I'm just going to do the supportive thing. I'll let people know I'm here, but you tell me what you need and I'll do it. I'm, I'm, you're like, I, I'm not going to put my, I'm not going to like get in there and make, or like, Whoever this person is, you're like, I don't want to co-create with them. I don't want to do that. But they need something to make this situation better. I, I, Yeah, I'll do that. I'll support this. I'll lend whatever you need. You need me to hold up something. You need me to bring something. You need me to get this together. You need me to do that. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I just don't want to co-create with them. They're doing it. I'll support what they're doing. Um, but the will here, again, I'm feeling like you really don't care for this person, but you're like, I don't know, maybe I should just... Maybe I should lighten up about this because it's going well for the moment. But it's it's a push and pull. It's kind of like, really, should I, though? But should I, though? Uh. Um, you're trying to be fair. You're trying to be honest. But you're also kind of like, yeah, is this one of those things where it's good today and only today? <laughs> like, you're kind of like, mm, I don't know. You got new beginnings coming out. New moon beginnings. New beginnings. Yeah. I don't know if I want to say new beginnings or just beginnings. Like, this is beginning to look better than it used to. So, you're kind of like, eh, there's a good outcome here. There's some good things are happening. So, you're like, I, I don't want to knock something down that's good. You know what I mean? Just because I don't like the person that brought the cake, I don't want to throw the cake on the floor. You know what I mean? There's no reason not to enjoy, enjoy the cake. Um, so, let's just let it be. Maybe, maybe this is better than I originally thought. It's very begrudgingly. It's not easy to go there. Not easy. <laughs> Trying, but not really sure if you should. It's really a weird energy. Um, 
but you're kind of like, I don't want to be that person that doesn't move forward or doesn't give life a chance. So, but at the same time, you're like, I don't know if this is smart of me to do that. Fighting with yourself a lot, emotionally. That's the will. I feel like you're kind of like, eh. Um, justice comes in, two of cups, and the seven of wands. Overcoming adversity here. Now, this person is really like... They're doing some good stuff. They're showing you they're like they're, they're doing they're overcoming this adversity. They're doing things that are good. The two of cups are like people are loving them. The justice is coming forward. It's almost like if they screwed over some other people in the past, they seem to be making it up. Like if there's something they did that screwed somebody else over, because that's how it's coming through. Uh, monetarily wise or otherwise, I don't know. We don't want to go too far down that road, is what I'm getting. They're making it right. They're doing what they they're they're doing what they have a, they're whatever they can handle to make it right. You know what I mean? Within within respect to the situation, whatever that means. So they're making it right. Justice is going on here, overcoming adversity. People are people are accepting this. Other people are happy with it. Again, you're just kind of like, well, I'm not gonna knock it down. I'm not gonna cause a problem. I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna say anything negative. Okay, okay, maybe it's better. Maybe things are going the right way. The Seven of Pentacles is here. It almost like feels like a familiar tone to me. It's almost like it's returning to a time where maybe it was better than it is now. And it's kind of like maybe it can be this good. Maybe it can. Um, other people want to believe that it's as good as it is. Uh, there's good cards coming forward. we got to go a little farther to be sure, just to be fair. Um, we really gotta be, we gotta go farther. I don't know yet if it's gonna stick, but it's kind of like a return to the past a little bit with this seven of pentacles. And the reason I'm saying that is because it feels like people are working together and they're kind of like, oh, it's like a familiar, a familiar feel. Kind of like, this is how this should go. Kind of like that. You're kind of just holding the line. You got resistance and you got the hanged man. You're kind of, it's kind of like, Okay, yeah, I guess this, but it's almost like you don't like this feeling of like it being like it was before. It's not going to be like it was before because before you didn't know all this information you know now. Before you didn't think this person would do whatever they did to make you mad. So it's hard for you, you're like, eh, but you're like not knocking it over. Just because I don't like the person that brought the cake doesn't mean I'm going to throw the cake on the floor. I'll deal with it. It's fine. But you are I feel like you're kind of like holding it inside. You're like, I'm just going to keep it to myself, but I'm not really sure about if I like this or not. Um, so you're just waiting, hanging out. The hangman, for me, it feels like it's not that you don't want to go forward and participate more in this. You're just kind of like you're... You're just kind of feeling like I really can't. I just really can't get myself to do it. I don't feel right about it. Okay. The tower card comes in. Do we like this? We do. How do we like this? Truth. Truth. Okay, truth in the tower card. Finding out more pieces of the puzzle that you maybe did not know before. Uh, I was feeling like, I feel like there's a purging of information here. Who's doing this purging? Because I'm getting discernment. And somebody's trying to keep the situation together and somebody's trying to be very honest. You see all these clouds around this person's head and then they're holding the world. Like there's a lot of information somebody's holding on to. And there's other people with questions and answers are coming forward. It's almost like, well, I saw so-and-so do this. Yeah, well, I saw them do that. Well, how does that make sense? And people are like figuring out. I feel like the truth is coming forward. I really do. Discernment is kind of like, you know, we can't expect people to be okay with so-and-so if they still think this is how that played out. And it's almost like the reason you're not happy with this, there's a lot of reasons behind it. But it's based on the information you used to have, which makes perfect sense. But other people are like, well, yeah, we can't expect the Scorpio to be at peace with this or to start to be okay with this if we're holding back certain information and they don't know certain things. Even though Scorpio is good with secrets, it doesn't mean you know everybody's secret. Not for nothing. I know that. You know that. I don't know why we're saying that, but there you go. Um, the truth is coming forward. When the truth comes in, it's kind of like, oh, 
yes, that one person, they did do some, they did do some crappy things. But then you're finding out what was done to them. You're finding out why this happened. You're finding out who else was doing some underhanded things. And you're just kind of like, oh. I know it says pleasure. I know this card says pleasure. Unless I'm, yes, I'm covering it. It does technically say pleasure, but I'm getting more of a release. More of like you're freeing, you're being freed from the constraints of the past. It's like, oh, so this is not only why that happened, but this is why we're willing to give so-and-so another chance. Oh. I know it says pleasure. I'm not feeling the pleasure feeling. I'm feeling like, oh, okay. Which might be a version of pleasure for you. You have to decide. But I'm not getting that like, yay, pleasure feel. I'm not getting that. I'm getting the, oh, like the release of tension pleasure. Um, you know, I don't know. I think for those of you it matters for, you'll get it. I, I just feel like you'll get it. Resilience. Okay, I guess we're going to continue on with this. Um, <laughs> it keeps going forward. Um this has changed your perception on a couple things. I don't know. Whatever the truth is that came forward to you, like especially since I dropped the card, it's kind of like, okay, well, maybe that's more their problem than my problem. I'm just going to hold back. You're still holding back. You're still like, I, I don't even know. It's kind of like before. You're like, I didn't like this person. I They're doing good things, but I don't know if I trust it. I want to trust it. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. But at this stage, you're kind of like, okay. So that makes more sense about what's happened. I don't think I like this situation still. Like, it doesn't make you feel all warm and fuzzy about anything. It makes more sense. Things make more sense. Still don't really like it. <laughs> That's, again, why I'm, like, looking at that pleasure card. Like, I wouldn't say you're having a pleasure moment. It's just kind of like, oh, okay, that makes sense. The What's this card? The Path and Temperance. I feel like your attitude is kind of like, yeah, I see. There's a lot of reality here. There's a lot of human emotions going on here. More than one person has felt, I didn't realize these other people did this thing too. So I'm really realizing that more than who you thought was at fault or at fault. Like if you thought one person was at fault before, you're not, it's kind of like, oh, now I think there's three people at fault. Okay. And one of them, maybe two of them are people you care about. And you're like, I love them. But that's, they kind of asked for that when they did that. It's kind of like, ah, uh, I don't really like that, but we're all human. We're all human. The path and temperance is kind of like, all right, we'll see how it goes, but I'm still going to go slowly, and I'm just going to wait and watch and see how this actually progresses to the next level. Um, people seem to realize that you're not really the biggest fan of the whole situation. They really can't expect you to be, is what I'm getting. And yeah, they know that. So, however you add into the situation, people are very well aware that you're not going to be impressed with it. But they're just kind of like going to roll with it. Kind of like you might be okay with it down the line. You might kind of disconnect from it down the line. They don't know where you're going to go with it. You might not even know where you're going to go with it. But they're accepting of that. Like, they can't expect you to be happy about what they've told you. But they had to let it go. They had to let the truth be known. Now... I feel like this situation, you're very, whoever it is you care about, you have a very strong bond with. And I'm almost questioning if this other person, whoever the people are that you love, that have told you some things that you're not happy with, that they have done, they have done, they're at fault for some things. Yeah, you're not happy about that, but you still love them and you're still dedicated to that love. It doesn't make you not love somebody. Disappointed? Yeah, you could be quite disappointed, but you still love them. Um... I'm getting sovereignty with protection in the four. Is it the four? Yep, the four of wands. Still very bonded, still very connected with them. Um, I feel like I, when you see, hear this card, you're like, well, yeah. like That doesn't surprise you at all, in my opinion. I don't know why else we're going to say it in case somebody else is watching this who's connected to a Scorpio and you're wondering if they're really going to just ditch you. I don't see that happening. But sovereignty and protection is kind of like you as the Scorpio, for the Scorpio watching and the person connecting with that side of this reading, you're going to be very careful and you're going to be very honest about, all right, you know, there's some, there's some foolery going on here. <laughs> I want to say Tom blank, Uri, like for those of you who know that term, you know what I'm going to, you know what I mean? Um, Tom blank, Uri, we'll do that. Um, 
it's kind of like there's some ridiculousness going on here and you're just looking at it with different eyes you're just kind of like the humanity of the whole situation and trying to keep things together trying to make things work out kind of like all right this ridiculousness i'm not going to get pulled into it um i'm going to be careful with it there's other people around the situation that kind of concern you more um whoever's making things right whoever that person was who kind of shocked you a little bit or kind of did something better than you were expecting they seem to be continually making things better the unexpected here is like things are improving and they're going to be more unexpected no moments more unexpected moments where things keep progressing in a good fashion um that's the unexpected but the two of wands like better decisions good decisions unexpected decisions somebody else is making things moving back together i almost feel like for somebody that i don't know i almost feel like this is when somebody gets remarried to a person they originally divorced like they get married the first time got divorced then five to seven years later they get married again the same two people and you're just kind of like what okay um <laughs> the release card see this is the actual release card right there but i was feeling that with pleasure with you that's interesting Maybe that's why, because there's only one of these cards in the deck. Release, attraction, the four of cups. There will still be problems. Whatever the problems were, they are still there. Um, it's these other people working through them and fighting through them, probably. Um, I feel like the release with the um, attraction is like, I feel like you're kind of looking at it this way. This way you have sovereignty and protection. Kind of like, that's on them. They're playing something out here. They're working something out. Let's be fair. They're working something out. Okay. And it just, it just gets very muddy. It gets a little, it gets really confusing at times. When you end up, when you end up only getting pieces of the information anyway, there's a, how much can you really do with that? And at this point, you're very much seeing it that way. And you probably are slightly annoyed. Kind of like when I hear stuff, I only hear a certain person's side of it. And the other person, I really don't care for that much. So it's kind of like I, I hear the one person's side. I don't really want to go to the other person and find out their side. So if I'm if I, if I know that this is off balance and I don't really want to get into it like that, like that I'm going to kind of stay to the side. You seem to be staying to the side and realizing it's just kind of like, it looks kind of weird to you, kind of like, does that really even work? It's kind of like one of those situations, like, does that even work? Like, they seem to stay together from year to year to year, going forward anyway. But does that really work? It seems like it's a confounding situation, like, I don't even know what to make of it. Um, the best advice here is like the what you're already doing. Continue to do that the whole way through is what I'm getting. Keep a safe distance. Don't get too involved in the situation. Let those people work it out themselves. It's going to go, it's going to ebb and flow, but I feel like from this moment on, you're going to be like, well, I don't know exactly what's going on and I'm not going to warm up to the other person to find out. So I'm just going to let them work it out. I'm not going to get involved. I feel like you have that. I still love, I still care. I'll still be a part of their lives, but I'm not going to get in. I'm not going to get into their situation. I'm not going to do it. Because I don't know what's going on there, really. And I've already learned the hard way that they're both at fault, depending on the time. Like, every now and then, one, if it, one's at fault, then the other's at fault. And this one's at fault, then that one's at fault. They just keep passing the fault blame back and forth. It's like the ball. It's a game of this ball. The ball is called fault. And they just keep passing it back and forth. And sometimes they fight over who's actually at fault. It's not worth it. Um, is there anything else with this? I feel like this is just you realizing what's really going on here. And sometimes I feel like you might feel like you're supposed to get involved, but this reading is saying, no, you don't have to get involved with this. Just stay to the side, do what you can with it. Keep that air of humility because you're doing very well with it. It'll serve you. Don't feel bad about it. Because I feel some of you will. They're kind of like, should I get involved? Should I not get involved? Don't feel bad about it. Holding to the side is the smart thing. Holding off to the side, just doing what you ha have to waiting and watching and just keeping like a distance from the whole whatever it is that's a good thing that's a really good thing for those of you this hit with of course all right anything else with this all right i'm going to shut this down here i hope that helps thank you for watching if you'd like a direct reading from me shoot me an email james for at gmail.com that's james the number four astral at gmail.com thank you